the female will have a bit of difficulty in trying to figure out what song she wants because they both of the birds are singing up there with the same. So from what we might have, what we might have this season, basically we use the computer, we're trying to run um, this program that my mentor wrote, that she's using them to, to find data and now um, pictures so we can put it in Excel and then to get the songs of these birds, so I listen to like maybe thousands of songs a day and I sequence them. To get the songs um we one of one of the one of the guys in my lab, his name is Winchet, he goes out in the woods and then he records the birds, the songs of Chicken Sparrow. So he he has a he has a recorder, so he walk in with a big with a big dish and then there's um there's a mic in the middle and then all the birds sing it and then it goes like the bird. So and then my my lab reads the birds. So we get the bird to put up put the bird in an isolated cage. And then we put we put a mic on top of the of the cage. So whenever the bird sings, we'll be able to record it and then use it. So the bird, the way we do this is that we collect we collect different songs from um, different databases, including the ones that we read. We collect them from Cornell Lab and the Royal Lab and the Tanzo. So I take each of these songs, but there's a hundred thousand. I take, I listen to each of them, and then I take the songs and then I filter that. Sometimes when the, when, the, when the song is recorded, there's a lot of noise in the background, maybe a, a passing car, and maybe the, the air conditioner is on, and then it gives its vibration sound. So I open the document in, in a program called Audacity, and then I sequence the song and I, I, I get rid of all the noise in the background so we can just tap the song because we only need the song. So from this long song, I break it down to just five syllables because the beginning and the end of the song, it's, we, we don't need the beginning and the end. Because sometimes the verb, the verb will start with the low pitch and then it will end with the low pitch. We, don't, we just want a perfect, complete song. So we take up the song in the middle. We record the time that the song is made and the, the date so that when, when we go back, when we find ourselves and then we go back and we want to see, okay, so this year, um, this song was more popular, this was not, this was not so we try, we try to use the date of the time and the place of the record to be shared with. So, to be able to do this, my mission is going to, she wrote a program by using MATLAB and she, we're going to put all these thousands of songs into the program. Then we'll run them and then place them into the different like, frequency, duration, the syllable type, maybe pitch, and the height of the song and time. The difference between the first syllable and the second syllable, all these comparisons will be done. And then we'll be able to see if there are any cultural changes in the syllable. So this is, um, this is a fairly I'll say common, the common chicken sparrow song. And another little bird, same species as chicken sparrow. So they all do that, they all do one syllable. So if it's z, 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 they say the same thing. Because if, if we do pick a compass for a very complex song, it would be difficult to see it. It may be. Maybe from here to here, it's a, it's a B and then also a C. Uh, because they tend to have different songs. So if one bird sings A, 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 and then it starts with A and then goes with B, we'll see that, oh, okay, there's a syllable change here. So the thing with, I, I would prefer it if, if I had a lot of results. I was, I was speaking to Dr. Professor Ross the last time, and we, I, I talked about how that. If a presentation, if I give a presentation to this and I don't have the results, I would prefer it. If I have some results to show it would be really cool. I really think my lab is the lab ever. <laughs> and my lab, there's the birds all over the place. So if, if anybody wants to come, then I'll show you how to do it. What we hope to find is that we hope that our results match our hypothesis. We hope that we'll be able to see a college or ship between the traditional chicken or chicken sparrow song. 
maybe the introduction of the circle type, maybe the increasing of the curves after a certain point in time. Or a difference in the circle types found in two parts of the country. Maybe maybe there, there's a new solo in the west that that is not sung in the, in the east. Maybe we'll be able to detect that. And with that, I end with um, Google Richard, who's the main guy in the lab, does all these works for Chip Trials. He actually wrote his thesis on Chip Trials. He tells the story that the first time he saw Chip Trials, he fell in love with it, so he actually based all his life on it. I give credit to my mentor, Nicole Winchin, who's not in the lab, for yeah, most of our songs, like the sad, as well as the lyrics. I thought this was a few songs. Thank you.